our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. Did you know that drinking beer helps you sing better? Are you sure? How do you know? Well, usually people think I'm a terrible singer, but after we all have a few beers, they say I sound a lot better. Well, I heard that if you drink enough beer, you can speak foreign languages better. Hey, Ted, what are you up to this Friday? Well, I have the day off from work. That's great. Do you have any plans? Well, I've been working so hard lately, so I'll probably just take it easy. Sounds nice. Yeah, I'll probably just stay in and relax. Maybe watch a few movies. Can I stop by? Sure, anytime. It was really hard for our parents to save money when they were young. Most people were living form hand to mouth. How could they? Yeah, they simply had no extra money to save up or for other things. Fortunately, things are changing these years. You wouldn't believe what I got in the mail today. What's that? It's a letter from Ray and Sue in Shanghai. Have you read it yet? No. I thought I'd wait until you got home. Go on. Read it out loud. Okay. It says, Dear Jessica, it was so good to receive you letter. I sounds like you and Riley are settling into your new home with ease. When did you send her a letter? Just a few weeks ago. Sue and I send letters to each other often. I didn't know anyone did that anymore. Okay, go on. Okay, I'm going to have to skip over this section. It's girl talk. That's fine with me. Oh, it's actually all rather personal. Well, Skip over all of that and read me the rest. Okay. It just says, ball, blah, blah. Ray and I look forward to seeing you in June. Write soon. With love, Sue. Are we going to see them in June or are they coming to see us? Didn't I tell you? We're going to Shanghai to stay with them in June. Oh, I guess I missed that. Man. Hi, Charlie. What are you reading? Hi, Bob. I'm reading a biography. Who's it about? It's about Bob Dylan. Who is he? He's a famous American musician. Who's the author? It was written by Howard Sounds. What do you think about it? It's great. I've learned a lot from reading it. Can I read it when you're done? Sure. Bob, I'm on chapter 12 now, so I'm almost finished. How many chapters does the book have? There are 15 chapters in total. When do you think you'll have finished reading it? I should be done by Friday. I'll give it to you in class then. Thanks, Charlie. No problem, Bob. Hello, Mike. Would you like a drink? No, thank you. I had too much to drink yesterday evening. I had a bad hangover this morning. My head felt terrible. Were you celebrating something? Yes. It was a friend's birthday party. We drank all kinds of things beer, wine and spirits. After midnight, 
We were even drinking cocktails. It's a bad idea to drink a combination of alcoholic drinks. You should stick with one for the whole evening. I know, but it was a celebration, you Quan? I don't think I've see you drunk. I usually only drink beer and I rarely drink more than a few pints. You are a sensible drinker. Anyway, I'm not going to drink any alcohol this evening. I don't want another bad hangover. Let me buy you a soft drink then. How about a Coke? Yeah, that's a good idea. I heard that Coke was first used as a medicine. Rally? Barman, a large Coke with ice and lemon, please thanks. Here's the money. Are you going to the wine tasting tomorrow? Yes. I thought it might be interesting to learn a little about wine. And taste a few. There will be wines from several countries and an expert to give advice on which wines are good and which ones are not. Yes. I'm looking forward to it. Why don't you watch where you're going? Me? You're the one who pulled out in front of me. There was plenty of room for me to pull out. You didn't have to stay in the lane you were in. Hey, listen. I had every right to stay in the lane I was in. You were supposed to wait until I passed to pull out. And anyhow, you didn't give me any time to change lanes. All of a sudden, bang there you are right in front of me. I think my arm is broken. Sorry about your arm, but it serves you right. You need to learn how to drive. You're lucky you didn't get killed. And I'm lucky to be alive too. Listen, let's just wait until the police get here. Then we can decide whose fault this accident was. Fine with me. I know the laws of the road. I'm not worried. I have a cell phone in my car. Now it's probably on the floor on the passenger side. Why don't you get it for me, and then I can call the police. All right. It doesn't work. It looks like it's broken. I need to get to a hospital. You should drive me there. Oh, yeah? It's better if we make a police report first. Then you can go to the hospital. Damn it. I'm injured here. We could wait all day for the police. Well, you'll just have to wait. I'm not going to move my car until the police arrive. I'll go into one of those houses over there and use their phone. Don't worry. You'll get to the hospital in time. It really hurts. Yes, maybe it does. But if you're going to drive like you did just now, you will have to get used to a little physical pain. You know what I mean? To hell with you. The accident was your fault. I'm afraid it wasn't. And when the police get here, you will also see that it wasn't. But enough of this bickering. I'm going to go find a phone. Don't move that arm while I'm gone. All right? To hell with you. What a beautiful view. It sure is. The Grand Canyon is truly a masterpiece. No man could ever make anything like this. What is that below? It is the Colorado River. You can go down the river in a boat if you wish. No, thank you. It looks a bit too dangerous for me. There is a beautiful state park here. I can see why so many people come out here to camp. Yes, there is beautiful view. You can go fishing, camping and also enjoy this beautiful clean air. It definitely is a nice change from the polluted and crowded city. That's true. What did he say? He said he would tell us the secret of becoming a successful man. It's too good to be true. If I were there, 
I would ask him if he himself was a successful man. Nobody would drive him up a wall by asking him such a question, you know. There will be a parade to celebrate National Day this weekend. What's the route? From Zhongshan Circus to City Bank. If only I could join it. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.